Okay, May 1. Still at my brother's place here, Mira Lake. But I'm gonna see if I can, uh, I'm gonna check out the oil pressure sensor. I think I have to take the cab off inside of the engine. And it might be a quick fix with loose wire or something. Or maybe you'll get a, get one from bumper to bumper in St. Paul or something. But I'll check it out while I'm here and I got some time to kill. Gonna have a nice meal tonight at my other brother's place. His wife is an excellent cook. So we'll see what we can get done here today. Okay, we got the engine hood off. I'm just trying to confirm which is the oil pressure sensor. I think it's this right here. But I better do a little uh, Google search and make sure before I start taking things off. Yeah, good thing I double checked. I took the hood right off. And oil pressure sensor is down here, you see. So I'll check connections first, and then I'll. Uh, Take it off and see if, uh, how she looks. Okay, I found the oil pressure sensor, but uh, I'm just going to call around, see if I can get the, the part. There's no point taking it out here if I can't get the part yet. The wires all look good, plugging looks, the connection looks good, so it's probably the sensors wore out. Uh, call around, see if I can get one. If I can, we'll switch her out. Woohoo! They got a sending unit in Elk Point. So I gotta just pack up and head her to Elk Point. Might as well switch it out. Get the dream machine running 100%. And away we go. Off to Elk Point. See you later, Muriel Lake. Okay, Elk Point, the big town of Elk Point, bumper to bumper. Bonneville says they have the part, so uh, we'll check her out. See if it's all good. Woohoo, we got her. I'll pop that in, probably out of my brother Kurt's just before dinner. Look at this little cutie that greeted me. Out at the acreage, bro. Oh, hey, buddy. You look like you're getting pretty old. Huh? You getting pretty old? Huh? But you're still a cutie, too. And another one. Holy smokes. We got three. So I uh, put out the sensor. Brothers should be showing up soon when they're done their work. Got 10 acres here. Baba's catering. Best in the Lakeland. CS Electric. Best electrical company in the Lakeland. Uh, I don't know if anyone's home yet. Uh, Sister in law Patsy was nice enough to open up the Kurtz shop for me. It's a garage. I don't think I'm going to fit in it, but I can still get up close to it, make things a little easier. Yeah, cut the wind down at least. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. No, I'll never make it in. I'll just park right here, cut the wind a bit. There. Very nice shop he has here. Wood stove for heat. I believe he uses this for, yeah, well, block and tackle kind of thing to lift up heavy items, obviously. Set up very nice. But I'm going to take the old, I mean, not the old, the new one. That way I'll know what kind of wrench I need what size to get the old one out. Oh yeah. 
Okay, looks like one and one sixteenth fits. We'll get her in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Steve is the mechanic today, anyway. So we'll get this old one out and then the new one in. And it should work fine and dandy. Okay, new one. Uh -huh. There she goes, everything's going good so far. I'll snug that up and get her connected and we'll try it out. Okay, moment of truth. Got the new one in. Now let's start it up, see what happens. Ah, not good, still not indicating, well, I guess we're on the process of elimination, wait I'll check, maybe a fuse or a broken wire somewhere, we'll look into it further, well got it all back together, but uh, there must be something wrong with the gauge itself, so I'll have to take her into the mechanic when I get back to BC, but for now, I'm going to have a great meal with the family. Well, back to St. Paul, my brother Tone's place. He's the bottom suite right in front here. I'm just going to boondock here. Get things set up. I can plug in and uh, should be a good night here. Had a great meal over at... Uh, my sister-in-law Patsy and my brother Kurt's place. Uh, brother Rob was there, brother Tone. So it was a good, very good meal. And uh, just gonna relax now and unwind and maybe clean up the van a little bit. Catch you on the next one. <laughs>